Welcome. This is a very brief, very quick introduction to truncal regional analgesia. So, what truncal re what truncal blocks can we do nowadays? We have tons of options. This field has been grown um, a lot in the last decade, and nowadays, if you have a patient um, with chest or abdominal surgery, you cannot put an epidural, you are not interested in doing an epidural, whatever the reason, you have plenty of options to choose from them. So let's get started. Understanding these blocks and uh, very important and will help you, in, help you in your practice. This is relatively easy block, some of them more challenging, but in general, they are easy. So if you look at the chest wall, anterior and lateral, you have the paravertebral block, clavipectoral facial plane block, pix block, external oblique and intercostal facial plane block, serratus plane block. Posterior wall, uh, sorry, uh, anterior wall parasternal nerve block, posterior wall paravertebral block, and uh, posterior, um, also intercostal nerve block, erector spinal plane block, rhomboid intercostal plane block. If you look at the abdominal wall, anterior and lateral, you have the rectus, sheath plane block, tab block, ilinguana, you have a gastric nerve, posterior wall, you have the QL block, rectal spinae, retrolamina. Now, some of these blocks are very old and well-known and well-studied, like the paravertebral block, and some of them, they are more recent, new, in the last few years, still named more studies. Now, to show you um, how many and where, and this is really true, so number one here is this is the rectus sheath block between the rectus abdominis muscle and posterior rectus sheath. Number two here is ilioinguinal iliohypogastric nerve block between the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscle. Number three, four, and five this is tab block, transversus abdominal block at different levels and at different uh, sides, mid-axillary, subcostal, and this is between the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscle. Number six, this is the anterior quadratus lumborum uh, plane block between the quadratus lumborum and the psoas major muscle. Number seven is the lateral, is the lateral quadratus lumborum plane block between the aponeurosis of the internal oblique and transversus abdominis and the lateral border of the QL muscle. Number eight is the posterior approach for the uh, QL block between the QL and the rector spinae muscle. And number nine here is the transversalis fascia plane block between the transversus abdominis and the transversalis um, fascia. And now here, Number 10, we have the rhomboid intercostal plane block between the rhomboid major and intercostal muscles. Number 11 is the paravertebral block in the paravertebral space. Then number 12 here is the inter, uh, intertransversus process uh, uh, block between two transversus processes posterior to the superior costo transverse ligament. Number 13 is the erector spine muscle, erector spine plane block between the erector spine muscle and the transversus process. Then number 14 is the retrolaminar block between the erector spinae and the lamina. Number 15 and number 16, these are serratus anterior plane block. 15 is the superficial which is, which is superficial to the serratus anterior, and 16 is deep, which is deep to the serratus anterior between the serratus anterior muscle and the periosteum of the rib. Number 17 and number 18, these are both um, parasternal intercostal plane block or PIP. 17 is the superficial, between the pectoralis major muscle and the internal intercostal muscle, and 18 is the deep between the internal intercostal and the transversus thoracis muscle. Then number 
19 and 20. These are the PIX blocks, PIX 1 and 2. So 19 is PIX 1 or interpictoral plane block between pictorialis major and minor. 20 is PIX 2 or pictoserratus plane block between pictorialis minor and serratus anterior muscle. Now, this is a very quick introduction. If you want to learn about all these blocks, I have video for each block and another video to give you um, the anatomy and mechanism of all these blocks in my YouTube channel. You are welcome to watch them and thank you for watching.